playa don da 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 on the ground on the da 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 real one like a shot da da she my love vibe my love ah 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 bad guy that run from the body like ah uh. good boy want me touching on his body like ah yeah. boy I be dead if he ever miss me he never sees you if he ever miss me hey good evening you guys welcome back to my channel I'm so happy to be here what's up make some noise to yourself. I am by the beach side. It's so beautiful, you know, good weather, a bit chilly, but there's a lot of people here and I'm recording, you know, not people looking at me and everything, but there's a lot of children. It seems like there's a camp out here and a lot of people are kayaking. Anyway, you guys, I'm not getting distracted, you know, by the distractions. I hope you're not getting distracted. So however, the topic of the day is chosen ones empath the people that have a special anointing on them you know that really have a huge purpose in this life why we should really disconnect from our family fake friends snake friends you know communities things that doesn't serve our highest purpose you know yeah it's, it's very important for us especially us especially the people that have a high calling over their life chosen ones to really disconnect from people places and things that isn't worth it for these same people places and things they would they know that we have a high calling over our life however they're gonna want us to either forfeit our own calling or miss our calling or hinder our calling you get me right because our family is our biggest hindrance as a chosen one you're a family those friends you are the company you keep that is your biggest hindrance and you might not know it but you know it now i'm serious we now know it our family was our first abusers as chosen ones, our family, our, the people that are supposed to take a really good care of us, the people that were supposed to, you know, stood by us and make sure, you know, we were good. We had food to eat, some place, you know, a, you know, a nice warm place to stay and lay our head. Those were our first family, the people that were supposed to look out for us. But they didn't look out for us. They got with the enemy and tried to destroy us. We have such a huge calling over our life. And our anointing destroyed their yoke. They have done us wrong. But guess what? God stood by us throughout those dark moments in our life. He took very good care of us. Some of us was homeless. Some of us was, you know, needy. We needed help in every area of our life. Whether that was finances, you know, shelter, food, clothing. Our families, they took care of us. But they take care of the ones that don't have a calling on their life. They took care of the ones that they know not gonna make it that far in life. You get me right? before they nourish and this is a funny thing and this is what has really jiggled my ass and my titties our families they didn't want to take care of the black sheep the so-called black sheep but in reality we are not the black sheep we are the fucking lion like for real we carry that fam we carry the family on our back we are the fucking lion however my point is this they didn't want to take care of the so-called black sheep but yet they, they take care of the the lambs of the family, the lame bitches, and the lame niggas that don't do nothing with their life, and all they do is sit down and get pregnant for the girls. They either get pregnant at a young age, or the boys, they either get a woman pregnant, or they sit down and smoke weed or sell drugs. You get me right? But they don't want to nourish the chosen, the, you know, the so-called black sheep, but in reality, we are the fucking lion. They don't want to nourish us. They want to beat our anointing out of us. They want to steal our gifts. 
that God gave us. But yeah, we are the black sheep. They stole our inheritance. Like, because they don't want us to have nothing. They're mad at us. Our family, they're mad at us. Because, number one, as the chosen one, like I said, we were, some of us were abandoned. Some of us was, you know, left, you know, like a stray dog on the streets. You know, some of us was homeless. Some of us faced a lot of abuse from partners because we had to depend on other people outside of our families to have a shelter and have food. You get me right? We were literally set up for failure. But like I said, we were literally set up for failure. And they're mad that we're winning. How are you still winning? You were not supposed to win, chosen one. You want to know why we are winning? The chosen one is winning because it's our anointing. God is with us. Even in those dark days, God was with us. Even when we was abandoned and on the streets of living like a dog. Some living from paycheck to paycheck. Some on government, government assistance. God was with us. And guess what? We made it look easy and beautiful. Because we are strong. Our anointing destroy the evil yoke. The devil will not win. You see, the chosen ones, we are bringer of truth. Our light disrupt their demons. And they don't like that because these people are wicked and they want to sit down and do wicked for the rest of their wicked lives. You see? And they don't like that. They want to continue to steal from the chosen one. And like I said, these are our family that, that they're not, and, and especially the chosen ones and like the empath and everything. Because like for me, I, I was the only empath in my family. So imagine, I was the bur I, I was the burden carrier, and I was carrying burdens for the entire family. Cause my family was full of narcissistic people. So imagine the only empath in your family and a bunch of nar and a community you get me right and a and a slew of narcissists imagine how that would be and most of the time that's how the chosen ones are we don't have anyone so like said well this is not right this is not right and they had that we most of the time we as chosen ones we don't have that person defending us and saying well well this is not right she this person don't deserve that that treatment but the most beautiful thing about it is this Yes, it might not be right, and our, what we've been through might not be right, and everything. We, we actually play the cards that we were dealt, whether it was fair or unfair. However, we, we played we, we played accordingly, and we beat them at their own game, and we won the game, and we made it look easy. We made the struggle look easy, and that is what they can't handle. Cause how you homeless and you look still look fresh and nice and everything and how you don't have a job or how you don't have a, a stable income but you still happy and you still functioning and you still having a smile on your face you want to know what it is it is christ it is god it's our anointing it's our strength it's our inner strength it's our inner strength our inner power the chosen ones, most of the time, we have a lot of hidden power and a hid hidden strength. That sometimes we don't even know that we have that strength until we need it. What I said, I said sometimes we don't have that strength until we need it. We don't let our struggle overtake us. You get me right? We don't become our struggle. And that is what the narcissists don't like. Because the narcissists let the struggle overtake them. Well, such and such happened to me, I'm going to then hurt other people. We don't do that. We sit down and we deal with the struggle because the struggle builds character. Struggle builds character. Pain produces character. That is why we, it would take, that's why God will always let us not have our blessings early. Because I would always say this when you get things fast it builds your ego when you get things when things grow steadily on a steady pace you know it builds character that is why i well i love my youtube i love that of course i've been putting out youtube videos and everything however 
but you see that how some people they will put a lot of shit on youtube and then their channel will grow over time and then they will get pushed through the algorithms and all that and then they you know the ratings will go up and you know the, the views and the you know and the likes and the impressions and the you know subscribers will go up but you know but it builds their ego but with me now like you know as i yeah of course not every video is going to hit over the hundred mark the hundred view mark and i'm so contented and i'm so blessed and i'm so happy that at least you know five people watch it that's all i need all i need is five people watching my video so you get me right and that is character you guys and that is what the narcissists don't have and that is why they don't like the chosen ones that is why they don't like the impact because yes they want that empathy they, they're jealous of it they want it because they, you get me right but they don't they don't want to work they don't want to sit down and heal from the pain that they've been through from the trauma that they've been through from the you know the emotional turmoil that they've been through so what they do they sit down and hurt other people and try to tear other people down to their level and i would say this in the bathroom because i told y'all if y'all watch my channel y'all know that i always like and this is why i actually started to do my videos outside in nature now because i realized there's a big difference when i sit down and do my videos in my apartment building yes they kind of subpar and all that because if you really look at my videos all the videos i was talking about outside in nature they got the most views compared to this you know my life you, you, you get me right so however what i was saying is when i'm in the shower having you know doing my showers or in the bathtub or you know in nature or you know in water i really get some good revelations you know and i realized and i, I was having a shower earlier today and i was like i'm so happy that the narcissist was not able to yes i face abuse from the narcissist but i'm so happy that i was the narcissist never was able to like get me out of who i am as a person you see right and i want to channel this song by lil wayne you cannot break down what can't be broken because if the nurse if you allow the narcissist to break you that means you don't know you let me say that again if you allow the narcissist to break you and forget about the narcissist if you allow anyone in this perspective to break you that means you don't know you you don't have a relationship with self and you need to get that check however you guys don't let the narcissist break you and like i said you cannot break down what can't be broken okay and like i said like i would be as chosen ones we were literally set up for failure and we got to really i mean we might not and yes we are our biggest cheerleaders we got to tap ourselves on the back we got to literally tap ourselves on the back because no one is going to say oh well good job and you did this and i saw when you struggled and you come from nothing to something and you really did this we don't have that however we got to be our own cheerleader we got to be our own president we got to be our own leader no one is going to do it for us we got to get up and rise up and be our own beneficiary wait what's the word beneficiary or whatever you, you get me right <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna learn that word uh, how to pronounce i know the word but i have to like really pronounce it you know properly correctly you know beneficiary I can tell you what it means a beneficiary means someone that is in authority over you or you know like for instance you know when you go to school and when you was going to school and you had the permission slip to go to the tour like your parent you would have bring him back to the beneficiary which is your parent and she was signed the permission slip and everything right i know what it means but someone that's of great authority that's what it means you know but i don't think i pronounced it properly beneficiary type in the comments if i'm saying it correct don't come for me because we will fight but anyway you guys yes oh i swear this bird was coming to me but anyway you guys what i'm saying is this we have to be our own fucking cheerleaders we have to be our own mongrels you know here on these streets we got to be our own liars and tigers and bears we got to support each other and most importantly support yourself chosen ones no one is going to do it for us we got to support ourselves and yes we will struggle but yes our time is coming and the enemy your family just like joseph you're gonna one day you gotta feed your family when the world or your world is in famine 
but hey you guys um outside got a bit chilly so i just decided to came home and everything and really they finish off the video and everything however i got this revelation on my way home and everything but like i said the chosen ones was literally set up for failure and because we are not failing we are excelling at everything we do because we fucking win this is the time that the chosen rise you know so like i said your fake friends you know fake family you know your surroundings the people that was planned strategically in your life to keep you back and hell you back and everything they print on your downfall and number one those people that are praying on your downfall they are failing to realize that we are not failing and we will not fail like god would never allow it you know so like come on so chosen ones continue to win continue to push forward continue to you know go against the grain and you know break those barriers because we will not fail feeling like giving up and failing is not an option for the chosen this is our time to rise chosens so come on now just like ice spice how can i lose when i'm already chosen you get me right so they print on our downfall but we would never we're not gonna have a downfall we, we're going up you get me right we come from the bottom and when you are at the bottom you are able to see every crevice every you know sidewalk every backtrack every road to the top you get me right so like <laughs> you get me right so we can't fail and they, they fail to realize that we will not fail and if y'all waiting on us to fail like y'all gonna be waiting forever because that ain't gonna never happen that's all I wanted to say, you guys. But with that being said, you guys, I love you so much. Peace, love, gratitude. Always keep an open heart. 